Even though there is seemingly light at the end of the tunnel with the pandemic, new state data shows thousands of North Carolinians are in the mire financially. They are having their utilities shut off each month and are unable to pay the mounting bills. State and federal funding meant to help is actually still caught up in red tape. And our Savannah Levins asks, where's the money? Advocates I spoke with are pushing for state mandated protections and for those held up funds to be released now. It's been seven months since the HOPE program launched in North Carolina, created to distribute state and federal COVID relief money to residents struggling with rent and utility bills. But even all these months later, I'm mentally a wreck. Applicants like Desiree Hall say, Still no funds. They still haven't seen a dime. My stomach stays in knots. Many say they can't afford to wait one more day for help to come. Newly released state data shows in the first quarter of 2021, utility companies were carrying out about 20,000 disconnections a month. Duke Energy and other utilities vowing to work with customers. As of January 2021, nearly 200,000 residential accounts were on a payment plan. We're kind of coming to a head at this point where families are, are going to really be facing the most dire situation that we feared. Rory McLemoyle is an energy analyst advocating for a statewide disconnection moratorium that would prevent shutoffs. In late March, Attorney General Josh Stein wrote to Governor Cooper urging the same. Uh, that still has not happened. McLemoyle says state leaders instead are hanging their hats on getting more HOPE funding out as quickly as possible. But delays have much of that money locked up in limbo. We have nearly a billion dollars for North Carolina alone to help vulnerable households with utilities and rent. And we can't get our house in order to get that money to people who need it. It's not like people can even apply right now. They can't even apply for that funding because the infrastructure isn't set up. We are working our hardest to get the checks out to people. Laura Hoghead with the State Office of Recovery and Resiliency, which oversees the HOPE program, says many of the delays are due to paperwork issues or because they had to integrate referrals from so many different state agencies. And she says they plan to open a new and improved round of funding soon but soon could be weeks or even months from now. Meanwhile, thousands still wait. I, I don't know what to do. Hoping that when they wake, the lights turn on and the water runs. We are facing a crisis. When you have hundreds of thousands of households that are in dire need of that assistance, we need to get it done quicker so we can get that money out the door. On top of all the utility concerns, a federal judge recently ruled that the CDC does not have the authority to continue the eviction moratorium, which has been keeping a lot of people in their homes. A stay order has been issued while appeals are filed, but tens of thousands of Carolinians could soon face eviction. Reporting for WCNC Charlotte, I'm Savannah Levins. Back to you. And if you find yourself asking, where's the money, please reach out to us. You can send an email with the problem you are facing to money at WCNC.com, and we will do our best to help resolve it.